mining, conveyor belts, doodads, and more. My friends, Satisfactory is now here. Are you ready? So if you've never played Satisfactory, uh, it's a pretty simplistic term game. You go in, you have a bunch of different uh, tasks you need to, or they call them tiers of, of basically unlocks that you're trying to get. And uh, once you unlock that, you unlock a whole new set of items that you can build with, mine with, you know, different structures and stuff. They've also just had their up next update, I think it was update four, brought in drones, it brought in a bunch of stuff. So there's, oh, there's even hover packs in the zip line. I didn't even know about that. There's a whole bunch of stuff for us to explore and they're constantly adding to the game. It is an early access game, but they're still adding a lot of content over and over and over. So we have definitely got a lot to do and we're just going to jump right in. Uh, we're definitely going to do a new game. Uh, now we got to choose one. We're going Northern Forest, Dune Desert, Rocky Desert, or Grass Fields. For more experienced pioneers, recommended for advanced pioneers, suitable for first time pioneers, and ideal for first time pioneers. I sort of want to try out a good for experienced pioneers because I, I, I somewhat know the premise. There's still a lot to learn, but I don't ever like going like with the simplistic stuff. I want to go a little more difficult. Uh, we're not going to skip the intro though. I feel like there's going to be some people they're going to want to see because for what I've been told, there's like content that like it shows you how to build this. This is how you build this, and then it builds. You basically go from there, you know, up and up and up from there. But we're gonna we're gonna do this uh, with the intro on, just so we, everyone can experience everything together. If you've never seen the game, if you have, well, buckle up because we're gonna have some fun organizing and being satisfied. Satisfactory. We need to come up with a session name. Oh gosh, the half the half pioneer. Yeah, that works. Well, half though, no, because you guys are coming on the adventure with us, the half pioneers. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And we're going to go with the Northern Force. All right. Let's jump into it, shall we? Oh. Apparently in space. Attention, on something. pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Huh. Okay. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric oh, entry in five, four, Hold on, boys. Two, Ladies and gentlemen. One. Planet fall procedure initialized. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. I'm like on a roller coaster, but a downward roller coaster. Ah! Should be safe though. I think we've arrived. Planet fall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi purpose exploration suit is at one hundred percent. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. This may come in handy.
world. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I Wait, am Planet Ada, Massage? also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Thank you. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Okay. I don't know if anything's dangerous around here. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Okay. Note. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. That's a good thing. So F to dismantle. Ooh. And we hold left mouse button. You do mass dismantle with the left control. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Easy enough there. All important fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Okay, all tutorial messages and emails will be saved to the codex X to open the codex. Okay. Parts. Tutorials. Oh, okay. Cool. What's next? What do we gotta do next? Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Oh, okay. Note. According to Fixit regulations, Ooh. every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. So a zapper is what you give me. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay. So, press V to scan for iron nodes. The location of the scan resource nodes will appear on the HUD compass. Uh, hold E to gather resources from the resource nodes and deposits. Okay. Wow, those are really far away. Okay, well. This one even farther away? Oh, wow, 900 meters. Let's go to the ones right there. All right, we're an explorer. Take leaves. Oh, that's right. I am going to collect these. Because this is uh, for fuel. I remember this. I remember this part. All I know is I remember that we're going to need leaves or a bunch of fuel. Because obviously we're going to have something that's going to run machinery. If this is really like hurting the eyes, let me know. And then for the next episode. Or an episode after that, depending on where I'm at for my filming. But, um, yeah. And also, I was thinking, too, like, on the daunting, to, on the, on the, these. I'm gonna take those. I don't know what they are, but I'm taking them. Um, but, like, on daunting tasks, if there's, like, really grindy things, we may do some cuts. We'll see. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna collect a bunch of this. Because you never know. I may need a ton of this. Leaves for days. Oh god, I lost the location. That's alright. Get it again. It's so cool. Deforesting. Don't worry, we'll repurpose it though for fuel. 248. Keep going. Yeah, but that's interesting. So they give you a zapper instead of like a gun to survive. Oh, oh, oh this is nice. What are those? What are those? I didn't know. Whoa. What are you? What are you? What is this? Oh, this is copper. Oh, oh. Cool. Bring it on. Ah, ow. Want some? You want some? I'll tase your butt. Tase you. Get back here. Okay, it's it. Get on this side. Ow! Oh, got it. Got you. Be dead. Did those things, man. Freaking cool. Okay. We gotta go. Oh god, I lost it again. I think that's it right there. No, no, it's not. What is this? Go that direction. 
What is this? Limestone. Okay. Apparently, at some point, we're going to deal with limestone. Okay, something's glowing. And I want to know what that is. Wait, what? 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 Uh-huh. 103 meters. Okay. But it's saying... It is it down below? Rippy. Okay, we'll go this way then. Thumb's obviously broken. Unless this is it. No, this looks like copper. Oh, this is iron. Oh, okay. We okay, hold E to pick up the iron. Okay. Oh, hey, another one of those things. Oh. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Yeah. Go back here. Caution. Ensure the hub Son is built gun. on spacious open terrain. Got it. To the presence of iron sources. Oh, I didn't kill it. Oh, Failure I didn't kill it. To do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Oh, I didn't. I did not listen to one thing she said. Okay. Oh, we have to use Q to build. Okay. Okay. Where can we build this then? You know, we should probably build it close to the iron nodes. The hub. Okay. Ooh. Rotate. Okay, let's say rotate. We got a hill there. I'm gonna go like. Yeah, let's go like that. Nice. Okay, what next? What do we do now, space, space alien lady? You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective: complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Good to know. Good to know. I think it wants us to check out the crafting bench. Uh, oh, we have to do it manually. Okay. Uh, it did say that. It said manual crafting. So that makes sense. But what do I do with this is the question. Oh, I remember what to do. You get to craft stuff with it. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, wasn't there another thing we could build? Let me get all these crafted first. There's something else we could craft. Production, crafting bench. No, that's just a crafting bench. Tier zero. Hub upgrade one. Equipment. Portable miner and then inventory upgrade. Ooh, okay. What? Okay, we have to craft whatever that that is. Got a rod, so we need ten of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. Oh. All right. Put that in there. Select here. Boom. Place that in there. Hey. Look at that. Personal storage. Okay. Extra storage space. That's awesome. So we could technically toss this stuff in there. Oh, okay. Cool. There is there is uh, quick clicks. Oh, okay. So you quick click it and it puts everything in there. All right. That makes sense. Uh, what else are we going to work on next? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. have you. unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Personal Sixth storage. objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Ooh, that is good to know. Okay, cool. So we need... Ten rods in, or see, 20, 20 rods in ten metal or ten, 10 iron plates, All right? And it, okay, cool. It puts it up in the corner. Um. Okay, we need. Oh, what do you need for this? You need six plates and four rods. Okay. Do we have enough for everything? One, four, six. Do we have exactly enough? Ooh, now we're we gonna put this thing. Maybe put it on the side of it. Like right there. Right there. Alright, what can we build here? So we can make another zapper or we can make a portable miner, which is two plates and four rods. Okay, we need to do some more iron mining. We're just gonna hold E for an eternity. Now, at some point, we'll be able to automate all this stuff, which would be nice. 
called manual labor. You gotta start with manual labor before you can make everything oh so satisfying. So let's go like like 50 or 60. Now this is like the type of thing right here is what I'm talking about. Like it's the process of, of mining everything that it may may or may not cut out, but we're in the action right now, so we're gonna do it live. 60. Cool. Start with that amount. Up here. Oh, cool. Spacebar does work. So I was like, do I really have to hold left click down? But I don't. I can hold spacebar down for this one. All right. All right. Well, this will be interesting. How far can we get with this? For a lot. It looks like it. So it looks like it makes two plates at once. And then it makes every, each individual iron ingot is one rod. I can remember all that. I can easily remember all that. I'll just do all this by hand. Oh, is this thing heating up too much? I wonder if it, there's like a cooldown. I'm gonna hold it until something happens. It looks like it's sparking. Like that doesn't look good. Mm, no, it seems okay. Seems okay. Okay, cool down. <laughs> That's kind of a cool feature, actually. Okay, it was was it four and two? It said. I think it was four and two. Two and four. Two and four. Okay. Two and four. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And craft five of those. I feel like we're gonna need a lot of these things. Craft every single one now. Well, that's kind of cool. So it, it auto saves, but it tells you exactly the countdown and one's gonna auto save. That's a pretty cool feature. A lot of the stuff did get reworked from the last time I played it, so definitely, definitely be a moment to get used to all this. All right, let's see. Can we just place it? Place it. Place it. Maybe we'll hold them off for the other stuff that we're gonna get later. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the thing. Look how this works. All right. Wow. Okay, that's pretty fast. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see if we can craft all this, though. So we need 10 of these. Come on. Then we need 20 of these, so I don't have enough yet. I'll take some more. Okay. Grab all that. And let's get some more of this going. So it looks like we just got to craft a ton of these. And then it looks like a, a smelter. I thought it was the next upgrade. We'll look at that again. See exactly what the upgrade was. That should be enough for now. Cool. Then we go boom, boom, upgrade. Nice. What was upgrade two? A smelter, power lines, copper ingot, wire, cable, and scan update for copper. And then this is going to give us constructor, power line, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Then we got to find copper. Congratulations. Now. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, oh. new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay. Seventh objective. Complete hub upgrade three. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Okay. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, fair enough. So we need five rods and it looks like we need eight copper wiring. Let's go find some copper. I have a... Okay, I had the portable miner with me and these are already finished. Holy cow. I'm gonna pick up this one and we'll do two on the copper. We go to the oh. Copper is 180 away. So is that node that we saw over here? Wow, a lot more just popped up. 1,000 meters away. Dang, copper's really far away. 
And I think this was a copper node, if I remember right. Yes, yes, it was. Okay, cool. Get this thing off of there. Grab some copper. Bing, bang, bang. Blop. And we go. Blop. Oh, maybe not. Blop. There we go. That seems so cool. So freaking cool. That's awesome. <laughs> We got all the copper we need for now. I got the other things still running, but we can get some copper going. And again, these are making two at a time, so we need 16. Uh, and we'll craft all these. Boom, boom, boom. Need a couple more iron ingots as well. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. And then we need four of these. So we need eight in total. Oh, or nine. I'm going to need more anyway. Uh, then we're going to go to smelter. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was five. I need one more. One more. Oh. Then we go to smelter. Now, this is all going to be just temporary. Boom. And boom for now. God, those things are huge. It's awesome. Okay, and then what was the next upgrade? What was it giving us? Was, was this the one that gets the, the power line or the power pole? It is, so I, I should get this one done. So we need some more iron. Because it looks like that's going to let us like, split the power up, uh, up onto other machines. This would be the smart thing is to get more of this. That way we don't have to worry about uh, having to just hook up one thing only at a time. Makes more sense if you think about it. That's need a lot more in this though. Good amount of iron. But yes, I want to hear you guys' feedback on this series. If you do enjoy it, definitely make sure you leave a comment and leave a like because that will show that you guys are obviously enjoying it. The more reviews it gets and everything like that. And we'll, we'll pretty much go from there. We need 20 of these. Because I really enjoy it. Honestly, if if it's a if it's pretty mildly popular, I would continue doing it, just because it is a lot of fun. Twenty like that. Then we need to do some copper, because now we need some wirings. And you guys can also give me your ideas too, because like already in my brain, I'm thinking like, okay, we can have like a factory for all things that are done with iron, a factory of things that are all done with copper. Like we could have like giant like different buildings. Apparently there's a, a rail, railroad system with trains and stuff that you can build. I didn't even know that. So that's a whole nother system. There's hovercraft, there's like speed tubes and everything. So there's a lot for us to do. Like a lot of things to explore. That upgraded. Boom. Okay, how much is this gonna cost? Oh, we need concrete. Ooh. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner feature limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay, all right. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. I could definitely do that. Craft more of these. I don't remember the recipe, so I'm just gonna craft a bunch. Horrible miner. I'm going to get one more. One more, actually. Go. Good there. And then we need to build one more of these. Because now we got to go find some, some limestone. Limestone. Oh, apparently there's a bunch. I'm so 120, 21. Let's go this way. Oh, it's the, it's the one right here. Cool. We'll get this one set up as well. Because that way we can get uh, all three processes moving, at least somewhat automated with the little mining drills. Bang, bang, bang. Blunk, blunk, blunk. There we go. This one toss. 
go right here. That'll work. Nice. Automation at its finest. <laughs> All right. Back to the manual labor for just a second. Concrete. And this crafted. And then I don't remember the other process, so we're going to craft some other stuff too, just so we have it. But this is really interesting. That should be good enough for now. Maybe we should make a smelter too for the uh, for the concrete. That'd be a good idea to do that. Craft a couple more of those. I'm gonna craft some more of the, ro the iron rods. It'd be like ten of those. I feel like this is obviously gonna be the longest process right here. Little tiny steps. Okay, so we got that. I need copper. That was right. I need copper. Copper. I need wires. And a lot of it, too, it seems. Because it looks like there's some like, cables, too. And I wonder if the cables just take copper. That I gotta check out. Ooh, we're getting kind of full. I should probably toss in some of the stuff inside the uh, the storage. That. Okay, so we'll craft these. Okay, looks like, yep, cables. It looks like it's gonna require some wiring. Good to know, good to know. Mm. I wonder if we can like, ooh, I wonder if we can like at some point transfer these cables into, or transfer like the copper wires into crafting cables to another uh, like automated way. It's gotta be a thing. That's definitely gotta be a thing. Okay. I kinda don't like them here. Hold on. I, I, I know. I'm already taking this stuff down because I want to look at make it look nice. Go like one right there, and one right there. There we go. That way it's a little more out of the way for now. And we'll put a power pole right here. Cool. I put some stuff in there, didn't I? Okay, I got leaves in there. So then we go to the power lines. Connect to that to that. Connect that to that. And connect that to that. Okay, cool. Alright. And figure. This one for iron. That one for copper. Toss iron in there. Copper to there. And they get started. Nice. Get the power lines there. My guess is the next upgrade is probably going to give us storage. Let's go check that out. Up for... Oh, no. Conveyor belts. Oh, and I just need to craft more of the cables. Okay, cool. Craft more of these. Need a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. But once we get all those stuff unlocked, at least we know that, hey, we've got all the materials needed to get this thing automated. Got screws we can build now. What the hell do you use screws for? Now I need to know. That's got more of the wires or cables, whatever they are. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I need 75. Oh, all right. Well, we can just summon this manually while the other one is still working. Oh boy, we got this though. It's not, it doesn't seem like, it seems like a lot, but it's really not a lot if you think about it. But at least, you know, we probably should do all 245 of these, just so that way they'll be done. And then we also get the automated to do another 100, so this will definitely help us out. And then we can toss more in there and continue the process. That way that's all ready to go, too. Well, this will be good. This will be very good. And we are up to the last amount of iron ingots for now. And then we can get the plates going. Cool. And then I was also looking um, what we could do with all this process afterwards. Um, did I get enough? Oh, no. I'm only at 16. Um, so thinking about the idea of like the separate factory, mega factories, we could easily do that. Like, set up a giant warehouse with all the different processes. Ooh, there's so many different ways we can do this. So many different ways. Okay. Keep an eye on the other thing in the right hand corner is not updating. Almost there. Boom. Okay. Oh, so those bad boys right in there. And upgrade. Nice. Story looking good. Look at that. Added some other stuff to it.
We get a player upgrade too. Is that more space? Congratulations. Yes. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective. Complete hub upgrade five. Note. Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay. I remember that. Take those. And that'll continue on. Okay, cool. So what we can do is we can just start working on this next hop upgrade. We really need to get this thing finished, really. Let's get that one going. We need a lot. That's um speaking of which. What's another smelter gonna cost us? Uh, we have what we need actually. So what we'll do is we'll take this smelter, put it here for now. Oh. Oh. So I got nothing right now for concrete. That's weird. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do concrete by hand for now. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so we only need 20 of those. That's done. We need a ton of these copper wires done. We can automate this, actually, can't we? Truck door. What the heck is this? Oh, reinforced iron plate. We need to get some, some screws. Okay, we can craft that. Then we can craft one. But we could probably craft a lot more than that. Okay, we craft one of these. This is going to cost us two of those plus eight. Okay, I can do that. Let's get six, 16 of these so we can get two of those going. So we can... Well, because we can, we can start crafting the wires and then... Ooh, the iron's giving me an interesting. Maybe I should get another one going for the iron. Because that... Oh, yeah. Let's just wait till we get the miner because then we can split this up. Because there's an, another iron node. That was right next to the other one. Okay, we go over here. Take this, we put it right here for now. Take the conveyor belt, stick it in there. And then we set this. We set this to plates, because I feel like this one's going to be the most. Power cord to that, and that's going to start pumping those and getting those generated. And then we need to get the next upgrade because then that will give us the storage. Because right now we got plates going. I need another one of these though. Oh, I need two more reinforcements. That's right. Hold on. And I'm going to have to do this. Put it on standby, grab all the materials out. I'm going to delete this one. I just I don't have enough space over here. I'm working with very limited stuff. Why don't we set it up over here? Our right there. Go like right here for now. Still got enough power for that. Cause copper's down this direction. Power to that. You're not gonna attack me, are you? Oh no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Then if we go to the builder, we go to smelter. I have enough because I accidentally spent all on that. But you see what I'm saying. Once we get the miner, we put the miner where the copper thing is and the smelter, and then we do the constructor. Okay. This actually is working out pretty good. This is kind of wonky over here, but we'll figure out a plan for that in a second. Okay. Let's get more of these crafted. I'm gonna craft a whole bunch of these. Just like that. Okay, cool. That should be enough. Then I'll get working on the, on the wires in a second because the wires are gonna be needed for the upgrade. And we can, we can we can at least get the bases started. Trying to do 
smelter. So we turn this around. Right there. Constructor. Oh, you know what? Can we make this easier on us? Now we got to craft that thing. So just to conserve space, because I don't know how much of this is going to take. Oh, I told you, alien car car pace. Car pace? Okay. There we go. So if we stick the, the miner here, they'll roll down to here into the smelter. I wonder if we, we could probably put the constructor, we can put the constructor right here next to it, wrap the, the thing around. And then next to that, have the storage right here, and it'll wrap into itself. But I would like it to kind of go back over there. Okay, let's let's think about this. We could could we could make a conveyor system to go all the way back to the main place for now, but we have everything connected. Yeah. Okay. I need to click create two of the reinforced things. We're gonna make a few more of those reinforcers because it seems like with the 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 cement, when the limestone comes out of the ground, it goes right into the constructor. It doesn't actually go into a smelter. So if it's doing that, then I need to grab a couple more of these just to have them ready. Do what's this? The eight? Yeah, that's eight of them. Cool. All right, we've got all that set up. So beautiful game is look really stunning there's a lot of room to work with too which is nice okay after this is the in part so we go like right oh hold on oh okay we need more plates for for conveyor con for, con for, for the uh, conveyor belts where these take a lot of parts. Okay, I need more stuff. Over here. So we're gonna craft one of these. Do we need a lot of everything actually? Okay, now what we can also do too, because I'm gonna have to refill this thing, I'm sure. Grab a hundred of that. the order into there. How's this looking? Oh, there we go. Plates. A ton of them. I forgot that I had the thing running with that. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Now we got that going. We have this connected to this. Then this is going to connect to that. That will connect to that. Then I come over here. More of this. Figure for that. Stick those in there. That will start working. And then I want this to create wires. And let's just make sure it's all working. Go. Oh, that's starting then. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay. We got those components going. I'm going to let that build up for now. Because I have an idea with this. Because I think there's a thing called a splitter. Yeah, if there's a thing called a splitter, then... We'll, we'll see. You'll see. We'll see. Uh, we need to craft more, some, more stuff. I am everywhere. What am I doing? Uh, iron ingots. Now that we got the other thing making the plates, we're just gonna make a ton of rods then. We need 75 rods. I can do that. Oh boy. Okay. I'm just really I'm like my brain's going a million miles an hour what I want to build. But there's a lot that we could do with this. There. 75. Okay. And then we need to craft more wires. So that thing says, oh, well, we got seven on us. So we need 43 then. Get away for that cable thing to say 43. 
and get there. See, I'd rather do the process like this. I almost don't want to cut anything. I probably not. I, you know, I'll I'll start start and stop recording at certain things, but I'm liking the the the, the template that we've got right now. More, cool. Because then that way we can be on this adventure together. Upgrade. There's another great. Oh, there's hub six. Space elevator, biomass burner, biomass and biomass. There's two of those. Okay. We almost have 100 plates. We need 100, 100 wires and we need 50. Why don't we just work on all this? Congratulations. Now? You have unlocked building miner mark one, building storage container, hub feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective complete hub upgrade six. Note there are no notes. Fair enough. There's no notes for this note. Good enough for me. I do want to get the miners made, but let's get part six done. Because then I think at that point we're pretty much going where we want to go. So that's good. We got 50 of that. Oh, I didn't actually hit the benchmark. Select milestone. We can craft a whole bunch of these. I know there's a whole bunch being made, but I want to save those for the reserve. There's only going to be 100 of those anyway. We need a good amount of this. And 100 cable or 100 rods, which means I'm going to have to mix iron. Because everything right now is going towards the plates. So. More manual clicking. Manual clicking, my favorite. Awesome. Always my favorite. Getting closer. Almost there. And there we go. Oh, hold on. I gotta grab those plates. Just realized that. That. That going. Those plates. Oh, there's no power. Oh. Already out of biofuel. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's using a lot. Do I have those? I thought I had wood on me. Wood. Cool. Put the wood in there for now. That's probably that's gonna last longer, right? I could do this. Oh, I don't have any wires. Hold on. Technical difficulty here. We're fine. Take this. Oh, no, no, no. Catch this. Okay. That's not what I was thinking. Oh, we'll go like that. There we go. That will juice everything up and that should fix the. So it's using 16. Okay. The capacity is 40 right now, so we're, we're doing well. Boom, boom. Upgrade. Is that it? Oh, that is. That is everything. Congratulations, you have unlocked building space elevator, building biomass burner, heart biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub yes. terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. All right, nice, okay. So it looks like biomass, actually let's just look at that. Biomass, and recipe does 20, alternate is 10, makes five, which is what we're doing right now. Production rate is 60 per minute. It, okay, it burns better basically. It burns better and longer, so we're not have to worry about um, refilling this thing with leaves a million times. But it's like it's almost like compost, a compost, you know. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, let's try this out. Six point six point or six point six seven per minute. We're doing really good then. We're doing really good on that energy. Okay, the important part. Important part. Miners, so we need concrete. I have a bunch of the uh, other things. For I need more. I need more. I need more of everything. Everything. And what was it for? Organization, storage. I need 
There's more of the rods. Okay. We're gonna grab you. We're gonna also pick you up, and we're gonna pick you up as well. Because we should be good for 200 for now. We need to craft some miners. And I need those. Plus, I need those ones over there. So let's grab those. Do I have space for all this? I should. Grab. Pick and grab. Pick up and grab. Alright, I do need to store some stuff though. Like this. We'll store this for now. This for now. Okay. Where was my brain thinking it again? Oh. Right. The concrete. Craft some more of this. So I said 10 of those, so I need to create 20 of those, technically speaking. Actually, we need we need 30. We need 30, because we need one for the for the concrete too. There. Thirty of that. We got enough of those. Okay, we're good. Miner. Got a flip de flip. This is gotta get powered too. Any more rods? Good enough for now. Then We just have regular critters. Logistics. Splitter. That's what I need to build. Right there is what I need to build. Because we can split it. Then we can also get a merge. We got lifts. We got we got a lot of stuff. With this splitter, basically what I'm what I'm thinking is you can have like one mining area. You can take that production, put it into a splitter. So part goes towards making plates, parts goes towards making rods. Granted, we have an iron. Uh, production there or no, iron node there so I can just make this one a rods while making this one plates for now okay so like this that okay but we need power I have enough wires grab some of those Grab this. And then what I'm going to do, actually, um, I'll probably do it. I don't know how much time we actually got for the next episode. But what I'm most likely going to do is, is take that secondary node for now and just make iron ingots out of it. Just straight iron ingots. And then we'll figure out what we want to do with them from there. Because we're going to need a lot of these iron rods and a ton of uh, just iron in general. Not that. Okay. But we're gonna put a pole here actually. We're going to mantle this. We connect this to this. And then this this. Okay, then that should serve on Oh look at that. Hold on, we gotta watch this. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, there you go. It's pumping. The line of iron is starting. That will create a bunch of iron. That's going to create a bunch of plates. Which then I need storage unit for. Let's get the other one running too though. Before I get ahead of myself. And get the one over there too. It's coming together. It's coming together so far. Go. Get some more copper to do. Up. Pick you up. That. And pick you up. All right. Then we go here. We go to production. Another miner. Go like that. I think I'm gonna need to use another list. One of these. Make that to that. And this to this for now. I'm gonna have to modify all these cables and stuff because it's gonna bother me, but we'll start with this for now.
Oh, it just automatically puts one there. Okay. Or that'll automatically connect, which I didn't think it would. Looks kind of wonky, but I can deal with it for now. Okay, sorry. That will start feeding into this, which will give us the copper. Wow, that's a lot of a lot of wires. And then we gotta look at storage. Then I have more than enough for this. Okay. Um. Oh. We're off the grid. We don't have enough power. Okay, we gotta figure out power situation first. We aren't making or producing enough power. Which means I need more biomass for this. What's it saying? Talk to me. Talk to me. This isn't strong enough. Is it because it's not going to the same power? It could be. Which then we can. Uh, Ingenuity. It was it was it was splitting. Basically, there was all these. This one here is covering everything else except for the miner. They're both connected now to this wire, which connects to this, and then connects to everything else. So, okay, we're we're better now. I I get kind of worried there for a minute. I'm like, Wait a minute, what's going on here? But yeah, a lot better. All right, so let's take a look at the storage unit. We have a ton of these, so we're good for now. I don't have things. Well, I, I guess we could do it this way. I can go base wide. Go one here. Do they stack? Oh, they do stack. That's amazing. Oh, I need another rock. Okay, we go over here. Get the rod going. I guess two for now will be fine. But then we have to take this, flip it around to here. And we go from here all the way to there. And then we need to go down here then. We need to wrap this around back this way. Again, this isn't going to be the most efficient thing in the world right now, but we will definitely uh, make it better. Here. As far as this is going to go. There. Oh, we don't enough. Okay, we need more plates. Conveniently, we have a ton of them over here. 168. Collect that and we bring it all the way to there. Oh, it's too long. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I get that. I get that. Wow. Well, if we go like right there, we, uh, go around right there. And then we go from this one to there. Cool, and then this is gonna be kind of weird to access, but there we go. We got those running, and then if I look all the way down here, oh wow, oh wow, <laughs> that's awesome. We have a whole bunch of wires coming our way. Nice, 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 nice. And then, like I said, when we get the splitter, 
we'll be able to split these. And we could even do it from the storage units too. We'll see how we really want to work it. But we could, I mean, we have two options. We can split it from here and split this one going towards for the wires and one going towards the, for the, well, I guess I'd have to do it somewhere within this lot. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Cause cables are made from the wire. Uh, I haven't come up with that plan yet. We'll, we'll, we'll think of something. Oh, this is actually faster. We're on the conveyor belt. We can run a lot faster. Cool. Cool. And then we also need to figure out a fuel problem because I'm pretty sure we're almost out. 157, 48. Actually, we're just okay for right now. But we're definitely going to need to get some more. Uh, then we can get the last thing going, at least. Production, miner, I need more. I need more concrete. And down here. Make a bunch of concrete because I just realized that we don't have enough for making the one for the concrete or for the limestone. I should. In. I got chicken for the constructor. Okay. Need more wires. Get a ton of these going. Okay, cool. Then we go over to the limestone, which is over here. And I already picked up the miners, so that's all done. We go miner. I'm turn this way. Cool. Constructor. And again, we don't have to have this, this close, technically speaking. But for now, this is okay. We have this go from there to there there power I, again i think it's going to be an issue with this one but we'll see and then we could stick this one for our storage rods of course wouldn't we i think it says six of them but this will be okay once we get the other iron node up we'll be good storage We'll do this one right here for now. Nice. Okay. Then we take this. I'm sure it's too long. Yep. It's about right there. Cool. That's connected all the way there. Now we gotta figure out the power thing, which I think we can connect that. That, that, to the miner. So that should start pumping. We'll get this turned into, oh wow, there's a lot of options. Concrete. Should start up in a second. It's the limestone. And it goes, and it goes. And then we got production, let's wait for three of them. Here's our concrete. And it's all coming back to our main hub for right now. It's pretty clean looking so far, but we can make, we can make this better. We can obviously make this better at some point. Do I have enough room to get over here? I do, just barely. Enough room for now. Got little sleeping bags and everything. I don't know what this is, but we'll figure this out in a minute. But we really need to figure out the fuel situation. I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, in between episodes, I'm gonna run around and grab a bunch of leaves just so I can at least make more biomass for right now. Because obviously we do not have enough. We have to collect a whole bunch. So I'll do that in between the episodes just so that way it's not the boring stuff. Maybe even like we'll do like we do like with the Barkov series. Where we do like a in between while, while at the beginning we'll, we'll run around and collect this and talk at the same time. But we'll see. We'll see where our adventure takes us. I mean we're, we're just the beginning. There's so much more to happen. To be happening. So I'll be excited about this. This will be a really good Really good test to see whether or not you guys enjoy this. I'm enjoying it so far. It's very satisfying, if you will. Yes. Hold me. I need them all. Luckily, we're in a forest, so... I don't know if this stuff actually respawns, or if it's pretty much once you've gotten it, you're done. 
then again i know there's other fuel uh like other fuel stuff you can do in the future like i know something about coal but again that's that's far in the future it's looking good looking good a steady flow of everything coming which is awesome let's go take a look what we got 276 I don't know what the cap is on the stack, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, you know what? Before we end this episode, let's get the last one running. If, if not, if you don't have enough power, we do have the biomass itself, which we could craft easily. I just have to make some of those real quick. I think we'll do a separate line for this one for now. Just for now. Actually, we'll connect. I want to make sure all the power is on one spot, actually. That would be very stupid to me if I'm separating the power. Because at least this way, we've got all of our bases down. We've got everything good to go. Craft. Plus, I'm pretty sure I need more rods anyway for the other products. Do like 20 of them. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna put the biomass burner right here. Like I said that way it's everything is connected together. Bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. That's full. This is full. Oh, I have an idea. So we'll connect this guy to this guy. And we'll craft another one of these. Maybe that didn't solve anything. Actually. That's this to this and this to this that way they're all in the same circuits this is gonna look really funky for a while but we'll get it working okay then we go over here craft a bunch of biomass out of leaves then we can get all that power going unlimited power oh it does feel good but at least we can get this going oh we you know we should do it also with the wood too I'm pretty sure biomass is the best fuel source we got right now. Regular leaves and regular wood's not going to cut it. This will definitely help us out. Keep our production going, you know? Keep the production going, my friends. We stick this in there. More into there. This in there. There. And then this in there. And then this is running. Well, that's really cool looking. So it feeds the leaves into here, which then fuels the machine. That's really cool. Okay. And then I've got an extra power here. I got one. So we're going to have to do this. Go like right there, which will then we'll connect this one with this one. Okay. That will be for the next setup. What do we need now? Production, miner. We'll go like this. Need more wires. Oh, shoot. Okay, there's ladders on the side. That makes it a lot easier. Cables. Good enough. Turn it this way. Plop it right next to it. And then we need one more storage unit. Which I don't have enough rods. Okay. Which we're about to fix that problem right now, so we'll be okay. Rods, 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 rods. More iron first. Apparently I'm completely out of iron. Let's steal some at you from the smelter on the other side. I'm sure there's a backup on that. Grab a couple more of these. Now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the storage. 
could wrap it around. There we go. That way it's not intruding. It looks pretty cool. Let me stick this guy to that guy. This guy will go into there. This will be configured into iron uh, rods. Then we need to connect power to there and power to there. Cool, oh, that's starting up now. Very nice, very nice. Get it to the ground. Get it to the ground. We need more iron. Okay, that's cool. That's just really cool. We're gonna definitely need to upgrade these belts. So Mark One. Anytime it says Mark One, it makes me think. Okay, there, there definitely is more options than this. We need a smelter, which I already have enough parts for. Good. Go like this. And the iron. I probably should think ahead of this. Excuse me, crazy factory. I have some things I need to finish up. I'm gonna go check my theory out also on the on the smelting thing. Oh, okay, let's go check this out. You're so cool. I can pet it. Oh, I can pet it. Well, that's cool. Oh, cool. It does feed right into there. Sweet. That was configured for rods. We've got the... And this is, should be able to build up. So we've got 20 in there right now. How much is this over there? Oh, it's definitely got it. Okay, so this just takes a little longer, but we do have a build up. So we could technically speak and take those out. Use them if needed. And there are the rods, my friends. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there a place we can get a higher advantage on all this? Because I kind of want to see what it looks like from above. Right here, maybe? Oh, God! Ow! That hurt. I'm gonna figure out how to get heals. Yep, uh, that's, that hurts. Well, I guess there is right now. I guess there's, we can figure out how to get on that hill and look over here. But look at it. We got the copper wires going. We got all the crazy iron stuff in the corner here. And everything. Yeah, oh, yeah, and also don't forget about the concrete. Concrete's coming this way. And every single bit of this is coming here to our little tiny factory. It may be wonky. It may be kind of compact. But it's ours. This is awesome. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy the first episode of Satisfactory, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you're looking forward to for this amazing series and what you're excited about for the future of everything else for the channel because we got a lot of stuff planned we really do and it's just the beginning we're still in the, in the early stages of 2021 so much more to come if you're new to the channel subscribe the notification bell and i will see you in the next one